Here we go then guys, the start of our first FIFA 23 career mode. I feel like I've waited forever for this. So let's get straight into it. The team we are going to be starting with is Manchester United. Right now, Ten Hag has started the rebuild. We're going to carry on in this career mode. And now talking to Ten Hag, we finally get to use real managers in career mode. Now, as you can see, Ten Hag is selected, but you can choose sort of any manager from the list you want. You can change the leagues, England, France, Germany, Italy. But right now, Ten Hag, we're going to use him. And now before we go any further, let's have a quick look at United's season so far. Right now in the Premier League, sitting in fifth place, four wins, two defeats. We all know who them two defeats were to. Yeah, obviously right now Ronaldo still talk over his future. Is he making a move in January? Also Ten Hag, is he getting backed properly in the January transfer window? We've got all that drama in this career mode. And now for the first time ever, we've actually got three minute halves in FIFA. This is going to be fun. I'm going to try it out. Again, if it's too short, I'll go up to four. But right now, we're going to try three. And here we are then, guys. The start of our United FIFA 23 career mode. I feel like I've waited forever for this. Now... We finally get to start it. And now before we go any further into this first episode, I'm so excited to get into this right now. But before we do, if you guys are new here, don't forget, hit the subscribe button down below. I'm going to be doing double uploads, manager mode, player career mode, everything. So hit the subscribe button and also the bell button. So I don't know where to start right now. The menu, everything's completely new, a whole new layout. But let's have a look at the budget, see how much we've got to work with. Wow, okay, 210 million. We can definitely improve the first team with that budget. And now I think the best place to start, let's have a look at the team and see what we're working with. Now, look at United's team right now. Got a lot of new signings in here. I'm excited to use Anthony, see how he feels in game. Of course, we've got Ericsson in here now, Latoro Martinez, Ronaldo, 90 rated, gone down in his overall. We've also got Casemiro into the team. So, United have done pretty well in the window, but of course, a few positions they still need improving. But I think the first player that I'm looking to sell in this career mode, guys, is Harry Maguire. Because right now at United, he's not even getting a game. I'd rather bring someone else in, someone younger, that will actually feature in the team. And I do want to use this career mode as a way to promote a lot of the younger players, guys. Again, players like Garnacho, really impressed by him in the preseason for United. Zidane as well. They've got players like Hannibal out on loan. These players will feature at some point. And now let's find out who's going to be our first game of this career mode, Arsenal at home. Okay, Arsenal at home. Not the easiest game, but United did win this fixture 3-1. So we're going to try and replicate that, haven't we? Now, we've got, after that, we've got Brighton. Of course, United lost to Brighton. Then we've got Everton. So first three games, I expect nine points. And let's not forget, then, United are in the Europa League. Real Sociedad in our group. To be honest, guys, we should be making it out of here, no problem. Now let's have a look, then, at the objectives set by the board. So youth development, critical. We knew that. We're going to develop youth in this career mode. Brand exposure, 20 wins in the league. Sign two young players. That should be possible. Continental, win the Europa League again. I think we should easily make the final. Depends who we face in the final. Could be Roma, could be Arsenal, you don't know. Domestic, win the FA Cup and also finish in the top four. And now I've gone ahead and put together our best start 11. I think United, this is our strongest lineup here. Sancho on the left, Anthony on the right. Again, 4 2 3 1 is how Ten Hag sets up. In terms of tactics, we're going with press after possession loss. Also, fast build up, but forward runs. So, again, forward run pass, forward run pass, and eventually a few plays in the box. We can create chances that way. Now, I need your guys' help. Who stays in the team and who do we sell? And now in this career mode, this is where you guys leave comments down below and I pick out three for every episode. Now, it could be comments about United in real life, United in career mode. Again, transfers, tactics, formations, you know, player roles, who should be taking penalties, all that sort of stuff. Leave it down below. Pick out three every episode. And that now leads me on to signing a player for today's episode. We are going to sign someone. Right now, the transfer is looking very different, but I do have a player in mind. Not sure what position yet. I'm going to scout a few and then see... Who we pick. Here we go then. Here's the shortlist I've just put together quite quickly, to be honest. Now, there is three positions I think we need to improve. Right back, Dallo right now for United. I think doing a decent job, but we can do better. Centre back, we need to replace Maguire. And also striker, United missed out on a strike in the summer. You've seen Liverpool get Nunes. You've seen Man City get Haaland. United didn't get anyone. And now working our way down the list, we've got Fring Pong, also players from the Eredivisie. Now, of course, Ten Hag could go back there. Pick up a right back, wrench your Ajax. Can play right back and left back. Very useful for us. And you know what? I reckon we could pick him up quite cheap, scouting him at the moment. Timber, we all know Timber. Um, yeah, Ten Hag didn't manage to get him, but we could go back in for him. If Ajax are willing to let him go, it would be a solid signing. Again, replaces Maguire on the bench, comes in, and eventually replaces Varane. And that then leaves us onto strikers. Now, Ramos at Benfica. It's funny how Benfica sell Nunes. This guy comes through and he looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mitrovic doing amazing at Fulham. Ivan Tony doing amazing at Brentford. So we could do with another striker into the team, I feel like. Someone on the bench. Because right now, Rashford, he could probably start games. Ronaldo could start games. I don't know. But we need another finisher. And because we are focusing on youth, we're going to set up our scout network right now. Should be quickly done. We're going to set him up in England because it makes sense for United anyway. However, I would like to scout different areas. So nine months. I reckon we just go with any. 
and just see who he brings. And I've just put together a little bit of a transfer list right now. Again, all these players aren't 100% right now because, again, Van der Beek, do you guys want me to keep him? Do you want me to sell him? I don't really know what Ten Hag's plans are for him. But Maguire and Wambasaka, I think we can all agree to sell them to. Players going out on loan. Again, I can't really fit them in the first team this season, but go out on loan, come back, maybe get them in. But one thing I want to do before we go any further, again, we are going to sign a player very soon. But right now, Rashford, I want to give him a new contract. He deserves a new contract, even if it's just another two years. Just see how he develops. Is he going to continue developing better or is he going to get worse, stay the same? Then we can make a better judgment. Right now, 12 months left. I've got to give him a new deal. I want to see how this is going to work right now. So it's 100k a week. I think we try and keep him on that. I'm going to try and get him on important. Maybe not crucial because, again, I want Ronaldo playing games as well. Important. Okay, that works. Now into extension. I'm going to try and push for three years. I don't think he'll accept five, but three years is decent enough. He accepts that. Okay, that's great. Moving forward. No release clause. That's great as well. Now the tough part, the wages. Um, again, I, I just think we keep him on the same. No need to go any higher. Maybe, I say no higher, but maybe 120. Tension. There's no tension at the moment. Okay, let's go 120. Let's give him a 500. Uh, actually, you know what? 500k signing on. Yeah, let's submit that offer. Let's see. I'm a little bit worried about that. You might not be happy, but it's only a contract extension. And there we go. He agrees. Have I overpaid that? You guys let me know. And now I'm currently then trying to find the inbox. Where is... Okay, inbox is right stick. Okay, okay, never mind. Whoa. Okay, we got a lot coming through. Interest in Ramos already from Hertha Berlin. Guys, they've offered 15 million. We have to go in for this guy. We can't allow him to make the move. Maguire transfer offer by Munich coming in. Interesting. Really, really interesting. Player chats again. Players that pretty much... Um... Maguire saying he's, he enjoyed his football here, but it's up to him. He wouldn't want to go and play anywhere else. So let's have a look at these offers right now. Maguire to Bayern. I think we negotiate this and try and get close to 30 because if Bayern will pay that, I'm happy. Malassia, yeah, no, that's block. And then a loan, yeah, let's uh, delegate that. Just a normal loan. No loan to Bayern but Maguire. Let's negotiate and see if we can get higher. So we do know then that Bayern do have money to spend. The fact that I'm interested in Harry Maguire kind of interests me. A player swap, I'm probably not got much time to look at right now but 28.5 if Bayern paid that for Harry Maguire I know United paid 80 but 28.5 recoup some of that money 20.5 Bayern 22 do you want to sell I don't want to sell on I'm not that interested in a sell on 25 can we get a deal on 25 remove the sell on submit that offer here we go Bayern Munich will accept and they will accept 25 million and now one thing that does kind of worry me Ramos interest 15 million is it's gonna get accepted do I sign him do I not I just don't know. And now here we go then, another nine emails. Let's see Sim three days. So Maguire's been sold. We get 22 million added to the budget, which is good news. Um, scout reports coming back. wan transfer offer. Let's have a quick look at this. 28.2. You know what? I I'm probably just going to go ahead and accept that. Van der Beek to Newcastle. Now, Newcastle were interested in the loan before he made the move to Everton last season. I'm going to stall on that just for now. Savage, another loan. Yeah, let's... Okay, Paris FC coming for him. That's interesting. More loans. Let's get these accepted. And now that we've renewed a contract, also sold a player. Let's sign a player right now. And Timber is the player I want to sign in today's episode. I know Ten Hag wanted him. We're going to try and sign him. How much will we have to pay? And it says 53.5, but you might have a chance at around 42.8. Let's go in and see what Ajax say. So let's get our first offer in. 42.8, as the assistant manager recommends. I don't think Ajax are accepting that. I mean... The amount of money Ajax made in the summer was ridiculous. I think they made the most out of all the clubs in Europe. Is that right? I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they did. But 42.8. Okay, do you accept? I'm, I'm quite shocked. But this is then going to be the tricky part. What squad role do we give him? I, I, I can't give him crucial. Could give him important, but the only problem with important is if Varane and also Martinez are playing so well, how do I get Timber in? Now, I could sub, sub Timber in certain games. Yeah, he wants important. He wants important. Could I get away with rotation? We'll find out right now. No, he wants important. You know what? That's fine. We've got loads of games coming up. All the cup games. Europa League coming up as well. Um, four years. Going to push for five. That should be no problem. Let's have a seat. Okay, there we go. Now into release clause. That's fine as well. No release clause. Into the wages. 12,000 a week at Ajax. I reckon we get that up to 30... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 30... No, 35. Yeah, that's what I'm offering. 35k a week. Signing on. I reckon 350k, and we should have a deal here with Timber. This guy, 35k a week, 80 rated. If we can get him on that, yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Remove that bonus, edit this. Okay, let's up that to 55. Even so, 55k a week for an 80 rated player. We don't have to renew his contract for another season or two. It's going to be insane. And there we go. We get the deal done. Okay, so we've got a cutscene here. Let's have a quick look at this. This is new to me, of course, new to everyone else. He's meeting with staff, which is good to see. It's also good to see, guys. I want to say, 
Um, women in these cutscenes, and it's not just men all the time. It's nice to see that. Ten Hag, here he is, training away. This is so cool. This is so cool, but it's one of them things, not to diss the game, but you'll get bored of it after your 100th signing, you know? But right now, this is so cool. Timber, finally, a United player. There he is with Ajax. With Ajax. With, with Ten Hag. With Ajax. With, well, <laughs> Harry Maguire out, 25 million. So they know I've replaced him with Timber. Did they? Did they know that? Okay, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, so they don't know that. Now they're saying transfer in. Let's get to see the grade. Let's see the grade. F. F. A. Okay, yeah, I'm going to say an F. I'm not having an F. I was not having an F. A, excellent deal. There we go. Our first signing, we get an A. And there we go, then. Our first signing of the United career mode. I think all you guys can agree, Timber coming in is an excellent signing, and we got an A. And now I'm just moving things around on the team. Do I put Van der Beek on the bench and look to offload McTominay or Fred? Do we keep Van der Beek? Sell Fred. That way the bench looks a little bit like this. You've got Martial on there as well. Alanga, let's just quickly sort this out. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Anyone off the reserves that we could put on the bench? Not really, to be honest. Again, we don't need a goalkeeper on there. So, so far, let's sort Ericsson out because that's that's bugging me. There we go. This is how we look now with Timber on the team. I'm not going to lie, I'm getting kind of worried right now. All the strikers are interested in, one by one, they're getting targeted. One thing I didn't expect to see, episode one, Aston Villa. Aston Villa wants to sign Ronaldo. Now, that's not happening. That's not happening. Van der Beek, by the way, I'm going to keep him for now. See what you guys say. Spurs now interested. Varane, Porto interested. No, I don't want to sell these players. Um, Savage got on loan to Paris. Another player going to Paris. You know what? Let's accept. And once again then, guys, the offers keep coming in. Alanga, loan offer. No, no, this is not happening. I'm going to sort all these out because Rashford to Everton, that's not happening. Sancho to Atletico. Lindelof to Inter. We could look at offloading Lindelof. Eriksen to, to Milan. No, this is not happening. Also, interesting Ivan Tony now. Marseille want to sign him. Uh, yeah, I just I just want to get to the games now. And talking of the games, let's get into the press conference before we play Arsenal. Now, first question is, is the pressure on you to make the Champions League? Uh, yeah, I think we have to qualify. That is the same as in real life. I think United have to make top four. I think they can make top four, to be honest, but it does look very close this season. Why are you sticking with Malassia? I'm guessing that's just down to pre-season. Again, just sim that. Now into final one, Martial. Will you stick with Martial? I kind of forgot about him, I'm not going to lie. But um, you know what? Um, every player has a right to earn his place, and that is very true. And now quickly then, before we get into the game, I get a lot of comments about my camera settings. Now, this is what it is. So, single player camera, telebroadcast, camera settings, put that into custom, camera height 12, camera zoom 0. Now, I think then, this is how we are going to line up. Do I start Ronaldo? Do I start Rashford? Looking at Ronaldo's pace, 82 sprint speed. What? 82 sprint speed. This is not Ronaldo of FIFA 22, let's be honest. Do I start Rashford then? Ball's in behind. He's got 90 sprint speed. You know what? I think that's what we do. I think we start Rashford. Ronaldo off the bench. Let's go like that. Let's get into Arsenal right now. Looking at their team. Gabriel Jesus. Uh, nowhere to be seen. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm wondering then what all these clips are. Is this highlights from past games? Are they supposed to be the highlights from this game? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out right now. Our first game on the FIFA 23. I, I swear, guys, I've not touched this. So this is my very first game. don't know how it's going to go. Three minute halves. Again, if it's too fast, I will change it and up it to four minutes, five minutes, whatever we need to. But we normally have it on four. Play players leading out. Timber is on the bench, so anything happens, he can come in, make his debut here at Old Trafford. Again, Ronaldo down to 82 sprint speed. Again, sprint speed isn't everything. If we are going to be playing in the opponent's half, you won't need to be making runs in behind. But again, Ten Hag at the moment, like when they played against Liverpool, that ball in behind for Rashford runs on through is I think how he is wanting to play against certain teams. But here we go. Arsenal, you know what? Skip this. Let's get into it. Okay, so two minutes in, you can automatically tell already the players feel feel different. The passing feels a little bit different. Rashford, let's even get Sancho going right now. Or Ericsson through the centre. Go on, Ericsson. Go on, Ericsson. Play the pass across. 1-0. There you go, 1-0. 1-0, five minutes in. Bruno Fernandes, the first scorer of our United career mode. What a way to start against Arsenal at home, by the way. What a way to start. Fernandez five minutes in. What a bit of play from us. He goes ahead and celebrates with Ten Hag. Again, Eriksen making a run. Box to box. Look at the run there. Again, Fernandez keeps up with him. That's the main thing because I won't really trust in Eriksen scoring from that angle. Okay, we've got to stop this attack. We've got to stop. No way. Okay, good save by the hair. Good save. Also, the goal goalkeeper. Well, I see. I thought that was going in our own goal. I thought that was going in our own goal. Gonna make sure Arsenal don't get anything here. The pass options are on. Oh, what a, what a bit defending that is. Cut the passing lane. Cut the passing lanes. No, 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 no. Smith Rowe. Oh, it's 1-1, man. Smith Rowe with the goal. 
to put Arsenal back level. I tried to slide in. Honestly, I tried to slide in just to stop the shot. Didn't happen. Didn't happen quick enough. Smith Rowe, oh, again, two goals already 10 minutes in. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it. Okay, look at this for a replay. We didn't get this on our goal. We did not get this on our goal. That That's not fair. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're away. We're away. Martinez, let's go. Malassia. Sancho loses out to, to Odegaard. That's, that's not good enough. Arsenal now with a corner. Odegaard just looking to, again, cancel this out early. This is the sort of situation he scored from last time. Okay, okay. Again, the passing is so quick here. I can't really get a play it in time. Good block, good block. Head that away. Okay, just get that away. There we go. There we go. Working it, working it. Casemiro, let's go. Rashford. You know what? What a ball. What a ball. Rashford's... That's offside. Is it actually offside? I thought we had that timed. I thought we timed that so well. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. No, we no, we didn't. Fernandez, Casemiro. Again, Anthony's making the run. Uh, I'm just going to make sure we've got players on side this time. Good pass inside. Rashford. You know what? I'm going to try and finish that with Rashford. And he does finish that. And he does finish that. There we go. 2-1. Guys, we've got to walk away with here with a win. We've got to walk away with a win. Our first game of the season at home. We have to. Rashford, what a finish that is. And the goal, the netting looks so much better as well. Like, there's certain features that do look really nice. Will we get the Smith Rowe treatment in this goal? No, we won't. No, we won't. Why? Why won't we? Oh, no. No, no. No, no. No. De Gea. As I say, as I say, we have to win this first game. Arsenal, go ahead and put another goal past us. Diego Aspas, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it is as well. It's just signed him. Why is there no Gabriel Jesus? I don't know. Have they sold him? I'd be, I'd be interested to know that. I'd be really interested. But down the right, failed to stop it. The pass comes in. The second pass there. and It's just so easy for them. All right, here we go. Played it in. Dallow, Rashford, pass across. Finish. Nope. Oh, my. Oh, my. I expected better, Fernandez. I expected better. I'm expecting too much from Fernandez. I mean, he's not even hitting the target. And right, now we're into the second half. We need to keep an eye on the clock, guys. Because, of course, three-minute halves. Well, I do want to bring Ronaldo on at some point. But then Rashford's... I think he's doing okay, so I'm not going to force a sub if we don't need to make it. Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem again. Arsenal, clear that away. Dallo, head that on, head that on. Okay. Fernandez, just get just get going. Just get going. Go on. Sancho, that's it. Play that inside. Rashford's running. Nope. He's offside. Oh, I can't even if it went through, he's offside. That's a, that's a great ball. That's a great ball. Varane, I'll take that. I'll take that bit of defending all day. Do you hear? Let's get that forward now. Rashford. Again, I think Ronaldo will come on just for a play to hold up the ball because we don't have that. Wow, we are struggling at the moment to get out of our own half. Not going to lie, guys. Fernandez plays it forward. Rashford, Eriksen. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. I'm sure he is. Okay, he don't finish it and he is offside. Well, here he is then. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to come on. Could he score the winner in this game? I'm excited to see because we need someone to do that. We need the three points. Fernandez out to the right. Uh, Anthony. Ronaldo's... Okay, took too long. Too long in the ball. We can't... Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Anthony, you have to do a bit of defending. Anthony, we cannot do defending with Anthony. Dallo, come on. Wow, this is poor. This is poor. Smith Rowe. Varane, what a challenge. Eriksen, I guess. Oh, the ball was on. Malassia. Yeah, we're doing a bit of defending right now. Arsenal looking for that winner. We, we've come nowhere near a winner. Odegaard. That's poor. No. Oh, my. No. No. Smith Rowe with a winner. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I do not believe that. Smith Rowe with the winner. I mean, we've done some amazing bit of defending from Varane, by the way. And we just can't seem to stop this chance. Arsenal, 3-2 now. Could we get a late equaliser? I, I want to walk away from this game with at least a, a point. I mean, Arsenal, tough side, as we know. They bought Gabriel Jesus on, by the way. And uh, there you go. Oh, Ronaldo. Oh, go on. We're trying. We're trying to just get the ball back here. Go on. Get that ball. Someone... No, man. Arsenal just going to run. Yeah, just going to run away with the three points. Going to run away with the three points. So frustrating. One last chance, maybe, ref. No, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it, guys. But to be honest, first game on, FIFA 23, all the new... Well, it's not new hyper motion, but all the new mechanics, so to speak. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. But at the same time, at home, I did want the win. Let's have a see what the post-match interview has to say about our result. I mean, first game of the season... I mean, how do you evaluate that result? Um, Martial, um, I guess they're putting the work. Again, I can't play every player in that game. How can I? Marcia, you trust Marcia to play his way back into form. Every player deserves a chance. I mean, I could have played Luke Shaw, but Marcia, I think I think he did okay. Again, down the right. Smith Rowe did cause problems. Odegaard as well. But you know what? I can't expect 10 out of 10s from everyone. And 
you know what, overall, it's a decent game. So we start off the season then with a defeat. Now, of course, United started off with back-to-back -back defeats. Now, it went against Arsenal, but it did start off with defeat. So right now, we're pretty much in a similar position as United were in real life. Well, I'll tell you what then, guys. After that game, I'm pretty happy with the side. Happy with how we played. One problem I did have, though, was the wide players weren't really that high up the pitch. Now, what do we do? Do we have a look at instructions? Put them on, get forward, or do we change formation to maybe a 4 3 3 holding? That way, the wingers are a little bit higher up. But there we go, then, guys. Gonna finish it there for the first episode. We'll get this video up today, right now, as this 10 hour trial came out. So I'm gonna edit it right now, get it up for you guys to enjoy. Let me know down below your comments so I can sort them out for the next episode. I'll catch you in the next one.